Okay, good day grade 10 learners. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, from our last video lesson that I uploaded about uh, geometric sequence, so it's good that you already know how to identify the given uh, ratio or common ratio. And because we're going to use that in finding the nth term of the geometric sequence, wherein it is given by the formula a sub n equals the first term times the common ratio raised to n minus 1, wherein the common ratio should not be equal to 0. Again, tandaan natin yung formula a sub n equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. For example, find the 10th term of the sequence 1000, negative 500, 250, negative 125, and so on. So, hahanapin natin yung 10th term. So, instead of uh, computing it manually, just like getting the common ratio, then mu uh, multiplying to the next terms until we get the 10th term, we're going to use the formula for geometric sequence in finding the n term. Wherein, ang hanapin natin dito n term ay yung 10th term ng given na geometric sequence. Again, bakit itong given na to ay geometric sequence? Because they have a common ratio. No? Kapag dinivide natin yung second term sa first term, third term sa second term, at fourth term sa third term, ay parehas yung makukuha nating uh, quotient. Okay. So, we have here our first term, so first we need to identify the given to be substituted in our formula. Our first term is 1000. How about our common ratio, r equals 2. Let us use a sub 2 over a sub 1. So we have here negative 500 over 1000. Okay, so what is the lowest term or reduced form of negative 500 over 1,000? So, pare silang madi-divide by 500, right? So, we can write 500 as 1 times 500 and then 1,000 as 2 times 500. So, therefore, the lowest term is negative 1 half. So, now that we have the first term and the common ratio, so let us use the formula given by a sub n equals to the first term times the common ratio n minus 1. So, we're going to find a sub 10. First term is 1000. Times negative 1 half. And then, your n is 10 minus 1. Your n is 10 minus 1. And then, we have here a sub 10 equals to 1,000. That's negative 1 half. 10 minus 1 is 9. And then, after that, we have a sub 10 equals to 1,000. So, negative 1 half raised to 9. Again, kapag ang numbers or ang base ay negative, then raised to an odd exponent, that is negative. Again, tandaan, kapag ang base ay negative, raised to an odd exponent, the answer is negative. Then, paano natin kukuha na yung 1 half raised to 9? So, meaning to say na yung numerator, that is 1 raised to 9 and 2 to the 9th. So, therefore, eto 1 raised to 9, that is 1. And then, 2 raised to 9. So, paano yun? So, that is 2 times 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 2. So, 9, nine times. So, therefore, we have... 512. Then after that, we need to multiply. A sub 10 equals to negative 1000 over 512. And then we need to express it in lowest term. 
so we can be uh, we can both divide it as uh, in four or we can write it as a sub 10 equals to that is a sub 10 equals to negative 1512 can be both divided by eight so therefore we can write it as 125 times eight over 512 64 times 8. So, cancel natin yung common factor. So, therefore, a sub 10 equals to negative 125 over 64. So, the tenth term of the given geometric sequence is negative 125 over 64.